In this video, I'll show you how to automate and supercharge your home assistant backups so you never get caught with your pants down again. <laughs> hey guys, and welcome back to another video and another Tech Tutorial Tuesday, which is the name of the series where you guys leave your questions and suggestions and I try to answer them as quickly and efficiently as possible. Oh, and big thank you to Craig who left the name of this series in the last video and I liked it, so I think that's what we're gonna roll with for now. And if you want your question answered in a future video, make sure to drop it down below and you never know, I might just make a video about it. Backups, they are important, we all know this but for some reason they are neglected by the vast majority of people out there. And it's probably because they're not very interesting. And also a lot of people think, huh, that'll never happen to me. And then disaster strikes and they're like, it's happened to me. Why did this happen to me? Home Assistant Supervisor has a good option for backups called Snapshots, but the problem with Snapshots is that they don't happen automatically, you have to manually trigger them, and also they are stored locally on the Home Assistant server in order for you to deal with by yourself. And that's kind of the number one rule of backups, right, is to never have all of your backups stored locally. So today I'm going to show you an awesome community add-on for Home Assistant that's going to help you deal with the pain of backups by automating the entire process for you. And big shout out out to Stephen Beechin for creating this amazing add-on, really good work. The only things you're going to need for this tutorial are a Google account with Google Drive. And the free version of Google Drive gives you 15 gigabytes of storage, which is going to be plenty for storing a good amount of snapshots from Home Assistant. You're also going to need Home Assistant installed with the Supervisor Store. First, head over to the Supervisor add-on store and then in the top right hand corner, click the three dots and click on Repositories. Then paste in Steven's GitHub repo for this add-on, which will be linked in the description down below. This will add a custom repository to your Supervisor Store. And you can then scroll down and install the newly appearing Home Assistant Google Drive Backup add-on. Once installed, click the watchdog and show in sidebar options and then click the start button. There are options you can set in the configuration menu, but these are easier to change in the UI, so I would suggest leaving them for now. Once the add-on is started, click the newly appearing snapshots menu item, and this will open a new UI that is used for the configuration. From there, you're gonna be asked to authenticate with your Google Drive account by hitting the big blue button and following the process through. Once done, you will land at the main dashboard. This is where you can keep an eye on your snapshot status and change settings such as your schedules. You'll notice on the right hand side that the add-on has probably already started taking a full snapshot for us. The nice thing about this add-on is that it's leveraging the built-in snapshot methods and not trying to reinvent the wheel. So you're safe in the knowledge knowing that if you ever have to use these snapshots, they will be 100% compatible. The other nice thing is that any snapshots generated in the add-on will show up in the Supervisor Snapshots menu and vice versa. Any snapshots created in the Supervisor menu will also show up in the add-on. Any snapshots that you manually take using the Supervisor window will also automatically be backed up to Google Drive. Useful for if you want to take a manual snapshot right before you do an update. In terms of actually accessing your Home Assistant snapshots, it's really simple. Just open up your Google Drive and you'll now see a folder called Home Assistant Snapshots and inside, you guessed it, are all of your snapshots available to download and then you can restore them using the Supervisor menu inside of Home Assistant. Inside the add-on options menu, we have a lot of settings we can tweak around to set to our needs. The first three options are for setting how many snapshots you want to keep in Home Assistant, how many you want to keep in the cloud, and how many days are in between each snapshot. You can also configure a specific time of the day you want the snapshots to happen. Perhaps if you want it to happen first thing in the morning so that you have a, a point in time to go back to before you made a bunch of changes. You can also configure a password for the snapshots, which I would definitely recommend doing. Remember, these snapshots are going to be stored in the cloud, so you need to be extra vigilant with security. The rest of the options are pretty good on their default settings. Apart from you're going to want to make a decision on what type of backup schedule you want. And this is ultimately going to come down to your specific needs. But you can use the generational backup option in order to tailor these for you. The reason I say this is individual is because, for example, someone like me who's always evolving their home assistant and always trying to push forward, it's kind of the nature of doing these tutorials, I'm always going to want the latest backup data. And for me, historic 
like sensor data does not matter too much. I'm not too fussed about having that. And so having something like four dailies and maybe one weekly is gonna be perfectly suited for me because I'm always gonna want the latest data. But for somebody else, that historic sensor data might be very important. And they might consider something like three dailies, two weeklies, a monthly, and a yearly. And so choosing a backup schedule that is specific to your needs is gonna be down to your individual preference. So you'll need to decide what is a suitable backup schedule for you. And you'll also need to watch your backup space by seeing on average how large each of your snapshots is and then making sure to keep an eye on your Google Drive space. Otherwise they could fail when you need them the most. Speaking of failures, the last thing I want to quickly advise you to do is to set up some sort of automation that will alert you if your backup schedule falls behind. The add-on by default will create a binary sensor called snapshot stale, which will change to state on if the backup schedule falls more than 12 hours behind. Using a simple automation that triggers when the sensor changes from off to on, I can quickly send a notification to my phone that will alert me so I can check it and fix it. So there we go, a very quick introduction into getting a bulletproof backup structure in place so that you're never caught short when you need it the most. But that's about all the time we have for this Tech Tutorial Tuesday. I hope you guys enjoyed it and let me know in the comments, what is your current backup strategy and are you planning to implement this? And don't worry, I won't judge you too hard. Make sure to leave your questions and suggestions down below for the next Tech Tutorial Tuesday and who knows, I might just answer it. Thank you so much for watching. As always, make sure to hit the like button, hit subscribe and I will see you in the next video.